Hello my YouTube friends, my name is Democles Rocha from Brazil and today I'm going to present to you a division. What is 7020 divided by 7? If you support this initiative, give us a thumbs up and if you want to know about our new videos, subscribe to this channel and hit the notifications bell. Let's get started. Here we have 7020. This is the dividend, the value we will divide in 7 equal parts. 7 is the divisor. It's good that we know the multiplication table of the divisor before we start the division. So, 0 times 7 equals 0. 7, not even once. 1 times 7 is 7. 2 times 7 equals 14. 3 times 7 equals 21. 4 times 7 equals 28. 5 times 7 equals 35. 6 times 7 equals 42, 7 times 7 equals 49, 8 times 7 equals 56, 9 times 7 equals 63. With the multiplication table available like this, you will see division becomes very easy. We start by taking a look at the first digit of the dividend. Since we have here 7 and here also 7, we can start. And we start by asking a question. How many times does 7 go into 7 without going over? You see that 2 times 7 is already too much because it is 14. So the number we were looking for is 1. I write 1 here. Since 1 times 7 equals 7, I write it here and then I subtract. 7 minus 7, very easy, equals 0. After a subtraction, I bring down the next digit. By doing so, here I have 0, 0. Let's just think about this 0 here. How many times does 7 go into 0 without going over? You see that 1 times 7 is already too much, so the number we were looking for is 0 itself. So I will write 0 here. Since 0 times 7 equals 0, I write it here and then I subtract. You will say this is very easy because 0 minus 0 is still 0. After a subtraction, I bring down the next digit. By doing so, here I have 0, 2. Let's think only about this 2 here. How many times does 7 go into 2 without going over? You see that 1 times 7 is already too much, so the number we were looking for is 0. I write 0 here. Since 0 times 7 equals 0, that is what I write here. And now we subtract. Again, this is very easy, because 2 minus 0 is still 2. After a subtraction, I bring down the next digit. By doing so, now I have here 20. And I ask the question, how many times does 7 go into 20 without going over? You see that 3 times 7 is 21, which is too much. So the number we were looking for is 2. 2 times 7 is only 14. So I write 2 here. Since 2 times 7 equals 14, that is what I write here. And now we just subtract. Again, very easy. 20 minus 14 equals 6. I can say that because 14 plus 6 equals 20. After a subtraction, I bring down the next digit. But you will say there are no visible digits to bring down. What does that mean? It means that when dividing 7020 in 7 equal parts, the whole quotient is 1002 and the remainder is 6. For instance, if you want to divide 7020 books equally among 7 schools, each school receives 1002 books and there are 6 books left over. I can even say that if you multiply 7 times 1002, get the product and then add 6, you will find 7020. And this is a way to check that the vision was done right so far. But what if you are solving some other kind of problem and you want to continue the division? Well, that's very easy. You just put the decimal point here. Since there are no visible digits to bring down, you bring down 0. And by doing so, here you have now 60. And we continue asking the question. How many times does 7 go into 60 now without going over? You see that 9 times 7 is too much because it is 63. So the number we were looking for is 8. I write 8 here. 
Since 8 times 7 equals 56, that's what I write here. And now I subtract. You will say this is very easy because 60 minus 56 equals 4. I can say that because 56 plus 4 equals 60. After a subtraction, we bring down the next digit. Since we have already used the decimal point, there are no visible digits to bring down here, so we continue by bringing down 0. And by doing so, here we have 40 now. Let me bring it up here so that we can continue. And we continue by asking the question, how many times does 7 go into 40 without going over? Notice that 6 times 7 equals 42, which is too much, so the number we were looking for is 5. I write 5 here. 5 times 7 equals 35, that's what I write here, and then we subtract. 40 minus 35 equals 5. If you want, you can continue the division. You can bring down 0, you can ask the question, and I challenge you. Leave a comment telling me what is the next digit here. This video was designed to help you. If it did, in your comment you can put a smiley face. I will be happy to see it. We can now say that 7020 divided by 7 is approximate 1002.85. This is just an approximation. If you want to find more digits, you can continue the division. I challenge you to continue the division at least one step more and find me the next digit. That's it for today. I hope you have a nice day. Bye!